Hey everyone, let's have a quick chat about Nightwood by Juno Barnes. Well, probably not so quick because I don't really know what this book is about, but I do like the writing. Let me explain that a little bit more. I got this book not knowing what it was about and had no idea what to expect. So when I started reading this book, I thought it was about Felix, this young character whose birth is described in the beginning of the book. We learn about his father, a Jew, and his mother, a Christian, and some made up story about aristocracy. And we meet Felix later again. His parents die early in the book. It's not that important. But we meet Felix later and he's sort of looking to find out who he is, where his place is. He's looking at religion and at becoming or turning his lies into truth or really becoming a baron. And I thought this book was all about Felix and his search and struggle to become a man and something about religion. But it turns out it's not, because at some point he meets Robin and he falls in love with Robin and he marries her, gets a child because he wants an heir to pass on his name. But it turns out Robin is not so happy with all of that and disappears. And that's first of all the end of Felix's story for a while. And that's when I noticed this book is not really only about Felix, but it's more about Robin, I think and more about the characters that fall in love with Robin, because we never see anything from her perspective. We only get to know what people think of her, never her own thoughts. So the next person she goes with is Nora, a person that Felix somehow has met before as well, but she falls in love with Robin and so they start a relationship but it's also very problematic and there are a lot of things that are going wrong and then Robin disappears again and goes away to America with Jenny and things like that. So this book is rather confusing but also very interesting. It shows a lot about all these characters falling in love with this one character who seems to be very unstable, to be very dependent on others, but also very unable to give back what others give to her. And what I have a big problem with is understanding the language. It's not that it's bad language, it's very beautifully written. But for me, it found, I found it very complicated and not easy to access. Part of it is the character that connects them all, the doctor. Let's look at this doctor character. He's the one who basically introduces all of them to Robin and is the connecting factor and all of them keep coming back to him to tell him about their sorrows and their pain. And what he does is talk endlessly and stream of conscious rambling. And he's very confusing to understand. But in his stream of talk, there is something beautiful as well and something wise. It's very difficult to see and very confusing. So this doctor is a very important part of the book, a very huge part of the book, but a very complicated and confusing one for me. So I think I did get this book. I think it's very interesting. It's very beautifully but complexly written. So I definitely have to read it again at some point to see how it gets better or if I get more. So if I completely got this book wrong, tell me in comments. If you read the book, tell me what you thought of it. And if not, it's a challenging classic. It's set in the 1920s, mostly in Paris, but also Vienna and other places. Thank you all for watching. Bye-bye.